Hello there, welcome to the October 2020 paper one. Here we're looking at question 10. So part A is use the substitution x equals u squared plus one to show that the integral from five to 10 of three dx over x minus one, three plus two root x minus one is equal to this expression on the right hand side where p and q are constants to be found. So let's first work out um, what we do with this integral. So it's first actually, it's first do the boundaries. So when x equals five, we're gonna have u squared plus one equals five. So therefore u squared equals four. So therefore u will equal two. So the lower boundary p is equal to two. So p equals two. And then on the upper boundary, x equals 10, so therefore we're gonna set u squared plus one equal to 10, and then take away the one on both sides, so it'd be nine, and now u is equal to three, so therefore q equals three. Okay, so there we are, so we've now found p and q, but let's now show that this integral on the left will equal the integral on the right. So if we say the integral of three over x minus one, three plus two root x minus one dx is equal to, with the substitution, uh, it's going to be the integral of three over u squared plus one, so that'll just be over u squared now. And then on the uh, second bracket, it's gonna be three plus, um, now if we minus the one on the other side of this substitution, it's gonna be x minus one equals u squared. So it's gonna be the square root of u squared, which is just u. So there we are, So it's uh, and then we need to change the dx into a du, so it's going to be x equals u squared plus one, differentiates your substitution, so d by du, so dx by du is going to equal two u, so therefore dx is equal to two u du. So it's gonna be then be times two u du, and that will cancel out one of our u's, so it'll be u, cancel out with one of those u's, the two turns into a six, the three turns into a six now, so it's six over u, three plus u, where we've previously sorted out the boundaries up the top as well. So therefore, the answer is the integral between the boundaries of three and two of six over u, three plus two, which I dropped the two, didn't I? Two should be still in here, here, and here, and here, two u, du. So there we are, that's the answer for this part A here. Okay, let's now move on to part B. So hence, using algebraic integration, show that uh, this integral here is equal to ln A. So let's bring in what we've found from before. So it's gonna be the integral from three to two of six over u, three plus two u, du. Okay, so let's now, um, I think what we're gonna have to do here is we're gonna have to do partial fractions. So it's gonna be six over u, three plus two u, equals a over u plus b over three plus two u, Let's now times by the denominator here, so it's gonna be six equals a u plus, sorry, no, not a u, it's gonna be a times the other fraction here, three plus two u plus b u. So what I've done from this line to this line is I've multiplied by the whole of this denominator here, u three plus two u. Then I'll expand the brackets and group some things together. So it's gonna be three a plus, and then it's gonna be 2AU plus BU, so I'll put that all in a bracket, 2A plus B, lots of U. So therefore now the 3A can be compared to the six, so therefore A is gonna equal two, but the, given there's no U's on the left-hand side, then this bracket here will have to equal zero. So if A is, so if uh, this bracket is zero and A is two, then B is gonna to have to be minus four. Okay, so therefore, what we're now integrating is the integral between the boundaries of three and two of, um, not this expression here now, but a over u, which will be two over u, 
minus 4 over 3 plus 2u du. Okay, let's now do the integration. So it's going to be 2 ln u for the first one, and then it's going to be minus. Now, on this one here, what we're doing is using the ln rule. Now, the ln rule says if you differentiate the bottom and you get the top, then you can use the ln rule, which is ln of the denominator. But the differential of the bottom is actually 2. So if I factorize out a 2 to the front, so it'd be 2 ln 3 plus 2u, then that will work. Okay, so now it is uh, time to substitute in the upper bound and the lower bound. So it's going to be in brackets. In fact, I'm just going to factorize out the 2 to the front of this because uh, that'll make it easier later on. So 2 goes to the front. It's going to be ln 3 minus um, 2 times 3 is 6, add 3 is 9, so it's ln 9, minus, and then we'll substitute in 2, ln 2, and minus um, 2 times 2 is 4, add 3, that will give you uh, 7. Okay, so it's going to be 2 times. Now I'll group the positive ones together. So ln 3 and ln 7 will make ln 21. And I'll group the negative ones together as well. So that'll be ln 18. And now when you're subtracting luns, you divide them. So it's going to be 21 divided by 18. That simplifies to 7 over 6. And now we'll just incorporate the 2 inside our ln now. So it's going to be ln 49 over 36. So therefore, a, that's uh, this value a on the right hand side here, is going to be equal 49 over 36. So there we are. That's the answer to question 10 there. So integrating using partial fractions, using the ln rule inside your integrals, and uh, making sure you, you know how to, to factorize a little bit from the top um, to use the ln rule effectively. So there we are. That's the answer to question 10 worth, again, 10 marks there. Let's move on to question 11.